Welcome to Fresh Waters, spiritual reflections helping you to grow in faith. Today's session is about praying through the Word. The key concept is the Word of God is an important element of prayer. The scripture today is from Acts chapter 4, verses 23 to 31. On their release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and elders had said to them. When they heard this, they raised their voices together in prayer to God. Sovereign Lord, they said, you made the heaven and the earth and the sea and everything in them. You spoke by the Holy Spirit through the mouth of your servant our father David. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth take their stand and the rulers gather together against the Lord and against his anointed one. Indeed, Herod and Pontius Pilate met together with the Gentiles and the people of Israel in this city to conspire against your holy servant Jesus, whom you anointed they did what your power and will had decided beforehand should happen. Now, Lord, consider their threats and enable your servants to speak your word with great boldness. Stretch out your hand to heal and perform miraculous signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. After they prayed, the place where they were meeting was shaken, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. What gives power to prayer? Why is it that some people pray and nothing happens, while other people pray and God always replies? How can we pray and experience God's power? The believers in Acts chapter 4 prayed a powerful prayer. It was so dynamic that the place where they were meeting was shaken. It was so powerful that they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke the word of God boldly. Peter and John earlier healed a crippled beggar at the temple gates, which resulted in the preaching of Christ on the temple grounds. Peter and John were arrested and imprisoned for their preaching, and they were brought before a religious council called the Sanhedrin. Peter and John spoke courageously concerning Christ, and were ordered not to preach Christ again. They were threatened and released and were able to share their experience with other believers. When the believers heard Peter and John's report, they raised their voices in a powerful prayer. This powerful prayer first addressed God as the sovereign creator who spoke through the Holy Spirit and through David. God's power and will were acknowledged before anything happened. The believers quoted scripture and acknowledged the application of that scripture in the life of Jesus. They asked God for boldness to speak the word, as well as for healing, miraculous signs, and wonders. One thing that stood out in this prayer was the quoting of scripture. There seemed to be something special about quoting God's word to God. You see, the Word of God is an important element of prayer. The Bible says, For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to the divining soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. There are many other elements that make prayer effective and powerful, like the righteous life or the spirit-filled life but one element that's often overlooked in prayer is the word of God my prayer for you is that you will realize the power that is in the word and begin to pray through the scriptures just think about it have you ever used the word of God in prayer do you pray with scriptures in mind have you ever come before God and claimed a promise from his word? 
What passage of scripture would you like to pray through this week? May God bless you in your spiritual journey.